Okay, now let's proceed to Mue speaking part two. Uh, you will be given two minutes to prepare and then your group, if all of you, you'll be given like eight to 12 minutes to discuss with your friends, to interact. As you know, there is a group discussion. Whenever there is a group discussion, you are not doing like you are, you are not talking about yourself or, or only your point, but you will have to, you will have to interact with other people. So interaction is plays a big portion of that, you know. But uh, now let's look at what examiners want. Number one is topic development. So when you share, when you give a point, of course it must be accompanied by your elaboration example and please explain your example. How how convincing are you able to? You know, how much are you able to convince not the examiners but the fellow candidates of what you say? Alright? You see, number two, how well can you relate your own point with other candidates' point? Relate. So, what, what is to uh, relate? Uh, example, when candidate, after candidate A says something and then you are, you will, you are going to share your opinion if a say talk about if a talk about let's say a uh, traffic co traffic congestion but you talk about another thing and there is no association or relation to what your friend the previous candidate said then uh, you're not relating to what is you are not relating to your friends and uh, it is a little bit awkward if we do that, right? So how much and how well can we relate to other candidates' point of view is important. The next is interactive communication. This is the second thing that examiners are looking at. So please, actively interact with other candidates. Interact. Not only talking about your own point, but interact. Agree, you agree or you disagree with your friend, you say theorism why. I want to talk about B. Okay, this candidate A talk about this. She asked me a question. Then if I agree, they say I see eye to eye to you. Because why? Because why? They only after you say why you tell why, they only you talk about your own point yeah so it's more is uh, much on the uh, interaction and number two you should respond confidently all right what's confident Be this interaction you are not referring to paper you are not talking by looking at the paper or at the ceiling or the floor or <laughs> you look elsewhere you have please maintain uh, eyes contact yeah, look at examiners and uh, fellow candidates. Make the eye contact. You speak confidently. Yeah. And the next one for, for this IC is about how well are you able to widen the scope of interaction? Widen. How to widen it is simple. Are you able to talk more about it? It's not only mere simple interaction. Yes, I agree or no, I disagree. It's like if you are able to agree why and then to, uh, you disagree why, you and you give more elaboration, yeah, to defend, to, uh, if agree you defend your friend's stand, or you if you disagree you have elaboration or reason to defend your own, your own stand. Uh, it's good lah. You are you are widening the scope of interaction. And number three, discourse management is about fluency. If you are very fluent and uh, less hesitation in your speech you are not jerky you are not groping for words and that's fine it's very very fine fluency and the next one is you should be able to link to other kids points link yeah i think uh, you know to link with what they say to link if you are talking shocks and nearly yourself uh, you're not linking to other candidates point the three of them talk about this, you talk about another thing, they talk about jewelry, you talk about, you talk about papaya, and there's no link, and it will be very funny. And language, the language here is quite similar to that of uh, what we have in part one. 
grammar and structure are very fundamental, right? And use low frequency words to show examiners that you have deep understanding of the language, okay? And uh, how about your pronunciation? If you are, you can be very clear, okay? It means it means that you are very uh, intelligible, in intangible, yeah? It means that people are able to follow what you say clearly, smoothly, easily. Okay, <laughs> pronunciation. If your pronunciation does not hinder the meaning, then it's fine. Yeah, just just make it as clear as possible. So this is roughly, yeah, roughly what examiners want. And in your discussion, some of you 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 want to agree. You can say, "I see your point." That's an interesting perspective. Or I fully concur with your point. Or I fully concur with you. Do not only stop here. After you say this, you give your reason why. So normally we have because. I see your point. Because I see your point. Oh, uh, I fully concur with your point. You mentioned that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, or you say because. How do I do disagree? You can say, I beg to differ. Or, I'm afraid I have to disagree with your idea. Or you say, I don't see eye to eye with you. So, you may choose either one when you want to disagree with people. Okay? Then you give your reason why. You can't, you. You can't simply disagree. Either you agree or disagree, you should have got reasons yeah, to support your stand. And the next one is interrupt. So you interrupt, you should interrupt at the right time. When your friend is groping for idea, it's like the already like four, five seconds stop in, uh, you know, yeah. If, and then you can say, uh, if you don't interrupt like this, uh, you inter interrupt means when your friend is still talking, but maybe the speech is already, is already jerky. Or your friend is already, your friend is already talking about you know a sweeping statement already something illogical or making sweeping statement you you know that your friend is not on the right track is on the wrong track and then you say excuse me I'd like to interrupt or you say I apologize for interrupting you okay, yeah it's like this interrupt at the right time but when your uh, when your friend, uh, your friend is talking about another thing, not very, really, not really related to the issue or the, the question, yeah, you you say this. Of course, uh, when you into interrupt, you can also say, "I would like to add something, please." You raise your voice a little bit. "I would like to add something, please." <laughs> Excuse me, I would like to interrupt. Oh, I'm sorry, or I apologize for interrupting you <laughs> to in interrupt. And uh, when you see your friends groping for words, you may try to help a friend. Do you mean, do you want to say this one? Uh, do you mean this one? Well, either your friends groping for words or groping for ideas, you, you may help your friend. Okay? And uh, to, how about the question? To question. What do you think? Okay, so what do you think? You don't have to really point to a friend like uh, candidate, candidate A, what do you think? <laughs> okay, you, you, if you say what do you think, you, are, you open this to, you open to the other candidates. Anyone has got a chance to speak up, not only pinpointing somebody. When do we use, shall we consider another point? All right, as you guys know that you'll be, you'll be given like, if not missing five or six points, they, what if if, uh, if all of them they talk about the same thing, you talk about a few points after like six, seven minutes, like nothing to say? When you find that, oh my God, my group, I got nothing to say, then you say, then only you say this. Shall we consider another point, which is, ah, then everyone will, you know, uh, have a switch of attention, divert attention <laughs> uh, to the next thing, and you guys can keep, uh, talking about it, interacting, yeah, engaging with the point. Uh, when you have finished saying something, you might, you might want to say, does anyone agree with me? Uh, yeah, does anyone agree with me? This is to question. 
And uh, when you guys have already finished talking, finished, okay, let's say the group has done your speech, all right, it's time to give a conclusion. What if all of you, four people, right, three or four candidates agree to one point, this is the best. Please, you can say this. You can say, in conclusion, all of us or most of us agree that. Then after that, when you, after that, you say, thank you for your contribution to this fruitful discussion. This is fruitful discussion because all of you have, got, have come to a consensus. What if two people agree on this point and, and the two candidates agree on uh, another point? This is what you say. To conclude, the two of us agree that blah, 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 while the other two candidates believe that and you blah, 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 blah. Thank you, everyone, for your contribution. And uh, the, lastly, there, will, there might be a situation where everybody clings, on to, the, clings to their own point. Yeah, no one wants to uh, let go. Yeah, mine is the best, you, this is the best, hers is the best, for example. If there's a situation when there, there is no consensus at all, and you, are, you, you, you have to do a conclusion, please, you can say this. It seems that every candidate still clings to their own point. I believe we've done our best. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can do. Uh, bear in mind that this is a group discussion, which means that no one is conquering the, convert, the this group discussion. If you conquer, you, are, you must go into be down. And number two to bear in mind is to you might want to pakat, you know the word pakat, um, before you go to the test, before you go to the exam room. You'll be divided into groups, right? Like either three or four people. Discuss la, like in group discussion, who is going to do introduction? Uh, who, who? <laughs> and who is going to do a conclusion? Uh, the one who is going to do a conclusion, please uh, ask them to remember this one. <laughs> okay? And uh, bear in mind that there might be situation where one or maybe one or two candidates they are like too weak or too shy. Please prompt them by asking question. Can it be? Do you agree with me? Or can you share more about it? Can you please tell me? Uh, uh, prompt. Prompt your friends. Um, it depends. Uh, how many times you want to do it? Yeah. Please do not ignore the one who is too weak. This group discussion, there must be interaction. If you have done your best to prompt and still the candidate is not like contributing to the task, no worries. Your, your marks will not be affected if you can do it well and you show that you have done your job to prompt or whatsoever. Okay, good luck to all of you. Remember, practice makes perfect. Get into groups, do discussion, talk yeah, as much as you want, as much as you can, make this language as, uh, as comfortable as possible. So hopefully on that day when you speak, the ideas can be flow and you can just speak more you know, freely. May God bless you. Black leg.